on Brandon Therapeutic Fragrance. I've been sitting on these forever. I just don't know what to do with them. I get overwhelmed. I've been in the shopping cart probably over 10 times and it grows too big that I just can't afford it. I get overwhelmed. So I've had so many different ideas for the channel with Sultan Pasha Atars. I literally have had them for a year now and I just, it, it overwhelms me. Check this out. This is, this is <laughs> the creme de la creme, the secret stuff I do. So this is all the stuff I want to sample. That, that's how much I'm sitting. This is one. If I showed you the two drawers this comes from, that's times a hundred of this. This is just, I tried to organize it, but over the holidays, so many things popped up here that I started putting in. On the top, I drilled little holes. I don't know. I don't want these to spill out for the salt and pashas. Hopefully I can show them here. Check that out. So this is what I come up with. You might help me if you guys help out in the comments. If you have the Atars, play along with me. This is what I came up with. I'm going to do, I think, five videos where I'm going to sample through them and just rank them. And then I'll probably buy my top three and then revisit the next three. I think that the top one I want, I, I know one I want for sure. Let's see if it gets, still gets ranked number one. Pretty sure it will. Um, but um, we'll, we'll, I'll put it in the game. We'll see if it does and, and see how it happens. You guys feel free to play along with me. The game. So, it, it, again, this is one of the most funnest samples I've ever owned. I mean, that's it's just kept me busy. It, every time I open them, I get intrigued. It takes me in a different world, a different direction. I mean, I pull up the ship ray. All of a sudden, my mind gets pulled that way. I pull up the iris. My mind gets pulled up that way. It's just really overwhelming. So, there's 30 of them. He lists them out, puts the number on them. I kind of have them in order there. Some of the markers got messed up, so I did my best. There's like four that I don't know for sure, so we'll really test my nose. I should be able to tell what they are. I put one through 30 in here. We're going to pick six today. I'm just going to do quick swipes, and, and this will see if we get full wearings. I don't know how to document the full wearings, but um, I'll, I'll do little marks if I'm going to do full wearings on them or not. Kind of like I did in my sample video. I'll do the full wear and see if I'll review through that or not and score. But at the end of it, I'll have a list, at least top 10. I don't know if I'll rank all 30. And then I can start purchasing there and, and be focused in my purchasing. I literally get on his site. He has new stuff now up there. And I'm like, what's this? Now th that goes in the cart. And I mean, by the time I go to check out, it's just too expensive. So anyways, let's do this. Uh, Sultan Pasha, what, roulette, roulette, we'll do that. So I'm not gonna look, I don't, I don't wanna look, it'd be random. <laughs> Try not to spill though. Okay, I got number 16. So I put a star on it, not to confuse it with the nine, especially the six and the nine. So we got 16, let's try this. Like there's, oh man, there it is. Man, I mean, toothpicks probably work better for this, but then it gets on the wood. I have a, a blank applicator. I'm gonna reuse this applicator. I'll do my best to dry it off. I do have rubbing alcohol, I'll do. I have that, little pads. It smells like a rose, let's see what 16 is. Um, it's Oud Douce Amere. It's the best for my pronunciation. So number 16 is that. Oh, that's, that's a good swipe there. And I'll go wrist on this. There. Dang. I mean, all of his stuff is good. That's what I mean. Every one I put on takes me to a new place. Oud strong oud he does use insar i don't think i don't know for everyone or whatnot i'd have to look up notes this does smell like an insar oud just a clean distillation and whatnot smells like an oud and rose fresh rose 
brilliant rose. He uses synthetic, so it's bouncing off pretty heavily. There's another floral in there. I, I, I'm going to say jasmine. Let's look up the notes. Okay, and we're going to put these over here. I don't mess with these, so <laughs> we'll be able to, to do this for a couple weeks till we're done here. Okay, let's look it up. Some of these aren't even on, some of these aren't even on his site anymore, so we might have a problem that way. It's on Fragranica, 4.6 on Fragranica. My quick searches. So the top is an absinthe, clary sage, hyacinth, Parisian rose, uh, saffron. I was going to say saffron, I didn't. Frankincense, Indian oud, uh, Damascan rose, tobacco, honey, sage, jasmine, black tea. I get the black tea too. Lily of the valley, Indian oud, Indian oud boya, Bengali oud, tobacco, hey, tonka, absolute, Cambodia oud, yeah. aged patchouli, hericium again. Leather Cade, white ambergris, musk. So this is the problem. I mean, I obviously love this. So I put this in my cart. And then before you know it, I mean, my cart is just way out of hand. And then I go back and I forget what I even did. I mean, it, these these are overwhelming. So I got, I got a, I'm going to go through this. This is getting worn. <laughs> this is going to be full warning. <laughs> this for sure is... And that's what happens. And I get excited about this just like this. And all of a sudden, it's like 10 to 12 of these. And I'm like, are you kidding me? I, I just can't do it. But um, <laughs> this for sure is going to get worn. Oud and Rose. <laughs> Oud and Rose. The good old combo. All right. Let's do the next one. Yeah. The Oud, Rose, Saffron, Jasmine. I mean, it, it hits with all the stuff I'm familiar with. Beautiful. And then that's the other thing. I'm like, am I replacing this with other stuff? Does it is it is it better? It it is gorgeous. It is awesome. It's just oud rose saffron jasmine. You know how many combos I have of that now? It, it's just a lot. So this has been my struggle with salt and pasha for a year. I've done this. This is probably like the fifth time I sit down and done this. Um, not like this. I never played the game with it, but just opened it up. Went through a couple, then all of a sudden, just I'm, I pull up the shipper. I'm like, oh, I gotta have that too. Pull up the fougere. Oh, I gotta have that too. And just it's too much. All right, lucky number twenty-one. It is a good number. Playing blackjack, I win. I, I kid you not. I kid you not. I look down there. And I'm like, oh, I want to try that one next. It is that one. It's Tabac Grande. That is weird. Totally. I looked at his list right here, and Tabac Grande just popped out on me while I was picking. I was like, oh, that'd be a nice one to try. That's weird. That's so weird. All right, that goes there. Let's try Tabac Grande. This will get the other wrist. I mean, this is bouncing already, just one. And I know, I know I'm not supposed to wear them. Uh-oh, is this the messed up ones? This is the messed up ones. So 20, like I'm missing the 21, 24, and like 19 are all smudged. I have four that are smudged. No, five. Five that are smudged, and this is one of them. I think this is 21. Let's see if we can get tobacco. This is 21. Oh, rich. That's what the tars, man. It's just rich syrup. From there, okay, I got the swiper uh, cleaned off, so I'm going to apply Tabac Ground. It is just like, it's almost not even, wow. It's a paste almost. All right. Check that, check out the little focus in there. It's literally like a paste there. And I can't really, I guess with my finger, I'll rub it in a bit. Gently, oh, damn. Tobacco. I want to say tobacco and chocolate. Oh, 
That's the richest point, most tobacco ever. I'm going to put the ones I did over here. Should I show you a little treat? Is this, is this? Yeah, it is. I mean, that's, I'm making tobacco right here. It's, it's a love. Oh, man, that's just rich. It, it's sweet. And it's not like tobacco vanilla. I'm sure it has vanilla in it, but it's just rich. It's pipe tobacco on steroids, clean without smoke, without any of that smoke nuance. Like, like it usually you get that, that smell when somebody's smoking it. This is almost like the, the same tobacco vanilla, just or fruity cherry tobacco that um, your grandpa or whoever smoked. And then it's just like soaked in like syrup. It's that condensed without that, without it lighting up and smoking. Oh, those of you guys that have memories of, of pipe smokers and love it, this this is one to check out. It's so dense and rich. So good. Let's see the, the rest of the notes of Tabac Grande. Let me know if you guys like this format. I don't know. I'm just trying to be creative and, and go through and decide with you guys. My first idea was crazy. But then with shipping internationally, I backed off and stuff. That was a year ago I was going to do that. Okay, notes are Hawthorne, Saffron, Cognac. That's, that's the syrup. Coffee, tobacco, definitely coffee too. Saffron, osmanthus, rose, heliotrope, tonka, vanilla, tobacco, honey, raw cocoa, more syrup, jasmine, the base tobacco, hey, tonka, amber, ambergris, musk. He doesn't list the color of ambergris in here. That's interesting on the others. He says white, so I'm assuming it's gray if he's not putting color. Civet, immortelle. Castorium, Harisium, Bengali Oud, another Oud, Vanilla, Virgin Cedar, Him Himalayan Cedar. Okay, so, yeah, again, this I, I visited this. I put this in the cart right away. So we're talking, it's Euro 150, and we're talking, I guess I can do the one MLs, which I did. I did on some, but the ones I love, I'm like, oh, I want, I want to age this and have it. Just got out of hand. I mean, this this is Tom Ford. <laughs> Love him to smell this. Tobacco vanilla fans. I mean, this is this is the growing up version. This is the mature version. This is the mustache version. This, dang, good tobacco. And I've been here before. I swear this aged better. Did you see how thick that paste was? It wasn't like that when I first got it. It's kind of cold where I store stuff, so maybe that has uh, something to do with it. I know, that's February, though. Oh, good. Okay, lucky number three. Let's start getting through these first. See what I mean? I love this stuff. I love everything. See, can we do it again? Okay, let's see if we get lucky number 27. I'll, I'll flip out if this is 27. <laughs> this is... 20, 20. So, oh, yeah, 2021. This is Le Rayon Vert. No flipping clue. I'm not good at French or whatever, so um, you guys that are have an advantage. It's another pasty one. I This is blind for me. Drier, a lot drier. Um, we're not getting the sweet on this. We're getting a, a spice. Wood. Beautiful. Okay, wipe this down. Get some love. <laughs> I can't even get some. There we go. It, yeah, it's pasty too. I mean, it's literally like a paste also. You can see it just, just the dot on there. I mean, this is all, it, it's powerful. Just that is powerful. From the bottle is powerful. A little bit on the finger. 
Wow, this is a lot uh, softer. Um, there's powder, soft, sweet powder. Guessing, Iris. It's a guess. I'm, I'm blind. I'm totally guessing here. So the rayon vert. I know vert means something. I'm, I'm, I'm still. I've learned a ton. Pronunciation's gotten a ton better here, but still learning. No, this is beautiful. This is light-handed. Um, I'm gonna say a, a very good vanilla is in this. Still going with the iris, iris vanilla. Um, quick fact, he does, um, I, I don't know if he does it 1 ml, but with 3 mls and the 6 mls, he puts a sample on the side and because he has a wax seal. So if you don't like it, you can return it, I think. So the top on this is Elamide Bergamot Lime Aldehydes Artemisia Hyacinth Clary Sage. So I'm going to finish my thought there. You get a little sample on the side of your 3 ml if you don't break the seal. I think you can replace it. I don't know if he gives money back. You guys check into that and email him. But I, I know he, he does state that. Jasmine, absolute yiling yiling. Carnation, yum. A little dirty in there. Tonka, Damascan Rose, Rose, Gardenia, Tuberose, absolute. Don't get any Tuberose off the top, which is surprising. Gardenia Accord, uh, Cyclamine, Lily of the Valley, Base is Incense, Rosewood, Oak Moss, Siamese, Benzoin, Savet, Musk, White Ambergris, Castorium, Tobacco, Fir, Balsam, and more. I did want to say tobacco, but it's so soft compared to the last one. I get the leather, soft leather. It's not like a dark, I mean, with the Savet and Castorium, you think it's going to be this dark thing. This is very lightly handed. The florals really pop off on the top. Beautiful. Beautiful floral on top of those dark notes. Like the dark notes don't come off dark at all. It's almost like as a perfume, you don't want to list those because you turn so many people off by putting Savette, Musk, Castorium. I don't know if he uses the real deal or not. He does do mixed media. Um, I haven't researched enough to know if there's real Savette and Castorium in this. But this is just a soft leather. Soft leather. Beautiful soft leather. Nothing strong. The carnation's not even strong. Just light-handed, opulent, opulent smell. This is well blended. This is amazing. And again, oh, I got to get a mill of that. <laughs> this is my problem. So, so far, all of these I have to wear in a day. So here, we're going to go back to it. I got to wear 30 different days. And then rank them. And I fall in love with each one of them. It, this is going to be a hard process. We'll see if I'm going to try to do it. I'm going to try to be disciplining in my first three salt and patches. I need you guys' help. I already know some of the most loved I are, are not my favorite. And I, I hope I don't pull them today, the day I pull them. Maybe I'll have my mind changed by then. We'll see. Oh, beautiful. Okay, number four. Should I try to pick? Oh, don't be number one. Don't be number one. I know I love number one. Number 17. It is Le Eau d'Or. The Iridor. Okay, let's look that up. This one does have a line through it, so I know it's 17. Wow, and then you open something like this, and it's like perfume. Like, just a woman's perfume. So many options in this house. This guy keeps busy. Okay, this is more oily. Other wrist now, top. Yes, yeah, so different. I'm putting these on the side in order of what I'm going to wear for sure. Like right now, I don't know if I'm going to wear this. Throughout the next three to four hours, I'll keep sniffing and, and keeping notes. But, I mean, I'm getting to the point where I know. Unless something just changes dramatically on any of them. This really, um, just from the other ones, this really smells like it has a burst of a synthetic on, on the base layer of it. With, I, I want to say, jasmine and rose. I just, the synthetic's really popping on me. Oh, lemon. Yeah, okay. Lemon top, bergamot, Russian clary sage, absinthe, honeysuckle. I'm not getting honeysuckle. I'm, I'm, usually that comes off like a real sweet bubble gum kind of note to me. Jasmine, spices. Jasmine again, orris butter, lily valley, rose, orange blossom. Does have tobacco bit dirty the other stuff's overpowering it right now my transition uh my source sandalwood so this again 
this might wear down. I mean, if those Mysores come out and, and tobaccos come out in the heart and base, change my mind. Uh, Swedish Castorium. <laughs> I don't know the difference between the other Castorium and Swedish Castorium. Iranian Saffron, Tobacco, Mysore Sandalwood, White Amber, Musk, Civet, Olibanum, Cedar, Vegetable, Vegetal Amber, Styrax, Siamese Benzoin, etc., 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 with uh, two big emojis with X eyes and an open mouth. I can get the Mysore in it, but I can't get past the uh, base synthetic on this one. We'll see how it wears. We'll see how the wear, the, the year, the or, the or door wears, the or, the year, the or. How's that? <laughs> Anybody want to do the perfume translations for me? You just pop in. You do those for me, and then I'll just go back to review. Just kidding. Okay, let's try two more. I hope this works. Number nine. Number nine is, ooh, I know I'm familiar with this one. Equilibre, very familiar with this one. Vetiver. You can just smell it from the cap. Just dense. All right. Here we go. It's more like an oil. You got a good swipe of this up here. I did not mean to get that much on. Hopefully it shows. <laughs> Yummy. Rich vetiver. I'd say vetiver and ambergris. Vetiver, ambergris, earth, earthy, wood. What's the wood? I don't know the wood. Um, I mean, every time, I, it's, I wouldn't, maybe cedar. Rosewood, some kind of wood in there. I want to say chocolate, but that that's just um, like a dark, dark chocolate. Nothing sweet. Earthy. So earthy. Some kind of floral. What's the floral? It might be. I, I don't. Is it carnation again? Maybe. Let's look it up. Let's look up notes. To the point where I don't care about my fumbles. I mean, I'm in a learning state of mind, so that's what this is all about. If it's about more than that, I'm out. I'm out. I'm literally just learning with you guys and building an encyclopedia of what I love. I just love exploring these scents. It says Meyer Lemon Blood Orange Bergamot Neroli Violet Flower. I get the uh, Neroli and Violet Flower. The other citrus is don't pop. A faint lemon, now that it's said, like faint nothing, bright and crisp and citrusy, but like a, a lemon dry down. Rose Otto, orange blossom. It does have jasmine. Hindi Oud, wow, that's the earthy. That's coming from, I don't get barnyard from it. Do not get barnyard, which is surprising with the Hindi. White ambergris, ambrette, mimosa, absolute. So that's a flower I'm still getting acquainted with. Vetiver, there's that vetiver. Mysore sandalwood. I can smell the, the animalics of that. Savat musk, opopanox, honey, and benzoin, and artificial amber. Okay, I get the honey. I don't know what's causing the, the chocolate smell, but definitely a um, just dark baking powder chocolate. So this one's like, triple the price and then you put it in it it's so what i like about this is it's so different from everything so this is unique i can buy this it's unique to my look uh collection it's not rose and oud. it is but it's not it, it there's no way it comes off like a uh, rose and oud, <laughs> even though it says it 
it, it's so different. Like the first one I tried was Rose Newt. Like so many. This is good. It's dirty. It's getting barn. It, yeah, the Hindi Oud's coming out now. Definitely getting animalic. Vetiver shines on the, on the top of it. Maybe those citruses put down everything on the top. All right, let's do the last one. All right, all right. I hope this is fun. I don't know what else to do. I do not want the number on top, so let's mix them good. No number one, no number one. Ooh. Might as well be my favorite number. 22, D Wan Ia. And I tried to pick this one from the bottom, so I don't, I got like three in a row that are together. 20, 21, 22. Might as well get my sloppy smudge ones out of the way. Oh, 22 is fine. <laughs> wow, this is potent from the cap. Some, some very, very sharp floral. And this, let me just wipe down. That's a lot. Check that out. So, a different finger, rub it in a bit. Oh man, it's got a vintage smell to it. It's beautiful. I'm really getting into the, the, the classic vintage fumes. The ones, you know, I was a kid around grandma and her friends. Just friend, sense like that. Um, I mean, the, the men I was around really, it was Old Spice or just a heavy Oak Moss Classic. Guys, fragrance. That's it. The only perfume I, I got to wear was the malls or, or smell. I did not wear them when I was little. The smells that I got to smell was, you know, my I hung out with my grandparents a lot when I was a kid. So my grandma, her friends, and then, because they were very social, so all the time. And then the malls. I always got to go to the mall of the city with them. We lived 120 miles from groceries or clothes. So going to the malls was a big deal for us a few times a year. Oh, beautiful smell on this. Let's check out notes. This is a great accord. I don't I don't even I mean it's it's floral. Tad bit sweet, tad bit animalic. Some some animalic. Just a great uh, scent overall. I've turned a lot of people on to these samples. This is literally the funnest sample set ever. It, it so I'm I'm just gonna do this on video. You'll see the first three I buy and we'll put them right there. When it gets new ones out, that's the only way I can think of of getting familiar with this house and getting stuff. 4.5 out of Fragranica. Oriental fragrance for women and men. He did say unisex. Nice. Good job, Sultan Pasha. Top notes are absinthe, marigold, to gates, rose, saffron, obanium. Middle notes, oud, rose, tobacco, honey, cacao pod, jasmine, coffee, black tea, osmanthus. Okay, maybe I do like a certain thing. Love all those things. Base notes, agarwood, oud, tobacco, hay, tonka bean, cipronol. Nagarmotha, sandalwood, obanium, myrrh, siam, benzoin, labdanum, ancre, <laughs> civet, immortelle, castorium, cedar, leather, cade, oil, and amber. I'm laughing because, yeah, I love all these things. But it comes off so elegant. This is, um, oh. this is... <laughs> I mean, reading the notes, yes, I get rose and nude. I get why I love it, but it comes off as a different accord than normal. It's got everything in there. It's got all the love in there that I love. Woo! That would have sucked. All right, let me know what you guys think. Should keep going on video or whatnot. What's your favorite salt and pashes? Do you have a set? Do this with yours. Compare notes with me um, and whatnot. List your favorites down there as we go. Anyways, new idea for the channel, new video for the channel. I'm out of here. Be blessed with your day. Monday for me. Now I'm wearing six fragrances. But I want to get through this house. It's been a year. It's time. It's time for something passion on the channel. All right. Be blessed.